Hey guys, welcome to the forest once again. This time I'm not at my usual location because I'm visiting my grandmother in my home village. Uh, I packed my Kodak Brownie number 3 camera loaded with some dry plates once again. And I will try to continue my forest panorama series that I started in a video from two weeks ago. So yeah, I will walk around a bit now and um, enjoy the fresh air and uh, the peacefulness and the silence. And uh, of course I will try to find a nice spot um, to make a shot. So yeah, follow me along. So many huge spruce trees around me, but it takes only a tiny little buck that gets under the bark and it dies off completely. Walking through this place just brings back so many nice memories from my childhood because this was my 24-7 playground. We were building tree houses, bunkers and uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. Once again, I only have one shot, one chance, so no pressure. Yes, this is exactly what I was searching for, to find a little bit of clearance and these tall, long, straight spruce trees lifting high up into the fog. Let's open this baby up. I will need two hands. I'm making a vertical panorama using f11 and a 5 second exposure. Okay, I will head back home now, develop the plate and uh, announce the winner. Lately I got a lot of questions on how I develop my dry plates, so here it is. This time I'm gonna use Kodak HC110, which is slowly becoming my main developer. I'm gonna be using so-called dilution B, which means one part of concentrated developer to 31 parts of water. And the fixer I'm using is Sadofix from Adox. My developer is ready and so is my washing bath, fixer and the final rinse here on the right hand side. As you can see I'm always just using white trays because it's much easier to especially to develop by inspection and um, yeah I will uh, take I will turn off the lights now take the plate out and I will develop it for uh, five minutes 
then I will rinse for a minute and then I will fix it for roughly four to five minutes or until all the milky areas are gone and then I'm gonna final wash it for at least 10 minutes. What's important when developing dry plates is that your water temperature is really constant because if it's not the, the emulsion can either melt off or it can shrink or it can expand so yeah Let's go! If you're enjoying the content I create, I kindly invite you to also join my Patreon community where you have access to exclusive content, you can talk to me in person and also get some of my prints. Oh my god guys, I'm so happy how this plate turned out. I uh, pulled it out of the developer a minute earlier like I usually do because it seemed like it's a bit overexposed. Uh, but yeah, you can see the trees in the background are, are um, the, the trees on the top are slowly melting into the background because it was a foggy day. Um, but at the bottom everything seems sharp. And there are still details inside there. So yeah, I just can't wait for, for this plate to dry out and uh, to scan it and see what we have. I'm glad that I managed to get some details into the shadows as well. And I'm really happy about how the tops of the trees are slowly melting into the foggy background. This shot is gonna for sure become a part of my forest panorama series. And to end up this video, I will select the winner of last week's giveaway, the recipient of this beautiful print right here. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody who participated. I really enjoyed reading through the comments. So yeah, let's get down to the point now. In this bowl right here, I have all of the names and I will, I will randomly select one out now. I'm selecting this one. Let's open it up. To see who it is. And the winner is TL Hawkins. There you go. I would kindly ask you to contact me either through social media or through email to give me more details. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button and uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I would uh, wish you nice holidays and until next time, enjoy.